keep it casual. We 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 talked okay. about yeah, we keep it casual. We talk about yeah, you know things. My background, everything. You know, it's just a normal office moment. No, so 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 I mean, is my background. It's, my like, lunch <laughs> it, it's like kids' books in <laughs> my background. So, but um, yeah. So so things are so. But yeah, just a quick intro. Eskel dot eth. Um, yeah. What? Uh, tell me a, a quick intro about yourself and uh, Infinite uh, Garden. Um, yeah, <laughs> okay. I didn't expect it this way, but uh, yeah, this is uh, SQ, and uh, you can find me sq.eth on Twitter. But I'm the co founder of uh, GoPlus Security, and yeah. uh, I have working on uh, Internet, and uh, recently four years is a map three for 10 plus years. Yeah. And uh, this is like my second startup officially. And, okay. uh, and, and yeah. A little bit about, about GoPlus, or yeah, you can take it. Yeah, a little bit more about GoPlus as well. That would be good. Yeah. So what is GoPlus doing? Is protect the people, you know? <laughs> That's <laughs> like always it's, important. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's always important. It's play like the user security infrastructure for Web3. So um, because a, a little bit on user security, because when you talk about Web3 security, it's actually quite a big uh, phenomenon. Is that yep. can, different people can think about different things. Some people may think about public chain security, or some people talk about like uh, smart contract vulnerability. It's more like a B two B like uh, auditing. But right. we are protected directly on user security. Like uh, auditing firm is finding vulnerability on all the smart contract. We are trying to solve the problem of all the backdoors, which mm -hmm. is kind of doing the scam or save to our user. So that's what we are focusing on. Is. And then. And then um, this. In, how long have you been working on this particular startup, actually? Um, the whole security stuff we started like uh, in the late 2020. Uh, okay. I think uh, uh, the exact time is like sometime in September, like before the October. So after, right after the DeFi summer, we already noticed that there was a lot of uh, yeah, you know, rock and hacks and, and that's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then I guess like. You know, looking and, and we met at this uh, Google Web three conference a couple weeks back, yeah. which is and we had a long discussion about Sweden, the Nordics, which is where you did your your I think masters, and yes. I think I knew a little bit too much about Swedish culture, uh, <laughs> which you were very yeah. surprised about. In fact, I actually um, did an interview with a Swedish VC uh, last night. Right. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. And then we, we, yeah, we, yeah, we were talking about Sweden. I've got a Swedish gin actually. Uh, so I had a Swedish gin and tonic uh, in honor of him. But anyway, I, I, I do like uh, the Swedes. And he's between, like, his firm's Finnish, but he's actually Swedish. Uh, but he doesn't speak Finnish. It's too, it's too weird. Swedes speaking, speaking Finnish, it's too weird. Um, but, yeah, tell me about, a little bit about your product. <laughs> it is. Um, tell me, in, in your product and compared to, like, you know, obviously Surtec does a lot of kind of audit stuff, right? But they're purely services uh, type of firm versus your 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 a product um as i have mentioned this is something different from like auditing firm for example survey and a couple of others consensus uh, division whatever mm -hmm. um we focus on user side which means like you uh, we are more like saying seeking to protect the user on their risky journey in web3 Right. For example, how did the user, I mean, they lose their asset, they get him attacked. So there's many ways. I mean, a lot of people get just being scammed in the name of blockchain. Mm. So they, they probably just directly transfer their money to some um, malicious address to some scammer. That's right. a, a little bit uh, sad, but it's actually happened. Like after right. we talked to the, for example, finance risk management people. Right. They're putting their asset on chain. So there, there, there are a couple of ways. Like first, they probably buy some uh, scam token, right. like some quick NFT, especially right. you do the pool market, you see a lot of packs and yeah, rock pool, honey pool, fake NFT, different scam. Yep. So that's just one thing regarding on your asset. And second, a lot of people like uh, they are losing asset because they are doing some kind of interaction, but they are not full aware of mm. what is it. For example, uh, mm -hmm. Because ninety nine percent of people, when they're signing on something, actually they have no idea what they're signing on. They just they right. say, "Hey, I want to do that." It seems like there's a mink, 
function, I want to make the NFT, then they sign that on their website, but actually it's uh, probably taking your right to transfer your Ethereum. So, and also a proof, like uh, on another side of that. And, uh, and also a lot of problem like a phishing website or like a, um, which is a, actually technically it's a bit, little bit web too. So some mm. people will attack you directly on your wallet. For example, right. yesterday we talked with someone, um, <laughs> she lost the areas in her, her wallet, but she was like storage, her memory freeze on some notion thing, you know. <laughs> so, but but it's 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 actually for a lot of ordinary people. They say, "Hey, you tell me this is a bright future for Web three," but then right. you write me to write down my password in some paper. <laughs> right. Isn't that a joke? But right. unfortunately, that is the uh, the current situation. So, what we are trying to do first, uh, it's a uh, before we talk about how we solve this problem. Actually, let's uh, think about what is going on. What is all the hmm. risk? So we did our own security engine. We detected on all the uh, scammers, malicious function, on asset, on token, on NFT, on malicious address, and also decoding uh, signature and approval. Because as, mm. I as, as I mentioned, there's a gap between people, their, their, their knowledge. So mm. that's what we do. And we pack it with them into a very simple version, like an open API. So mm. anyone. You can find our website, you can access to our uh, Git book, you can access to the URL, it's all the description there, then you mm. can integrate it with our open API. And that was actually in the beginning mostly be used by wallet and data website. For example, yeah. like CMC, CoinGecko, DexTools, they have all utilized with that. They all put that in their website to alert for their user. And the same for some wallet, like we are working heavily with MetaMask Snap at the same time with project like SafePal, Mobile right. Wallet, Time Token, Token Pocket, and, and a bunch of others. Right. So, yeah, that's uh, that's one part of that. And, because uh, I, see, I see the malicious address API, so art detection tools. Yeah, I've got the website and I'm, I'm over here. So I guess that's, yeah. that's MetaMask has, a, uh, has a, a, a version of that, right? Where basically if, if when you, I think there's this particular address and it pop up something, they'll say, Hey, this this is yellow, green. I think th there was something like that for institutional users. I saw. Um, yeah, for sure. They, they are they are actually that uh, kind of the um, thing. For example, you, you mentioned the malicious address. And I think uh, I even say like for malicious address, they are also mm. different company working with different purpose. Mm. For example, a very common usage for uh, malicious address is actually AML, anti money laundry. Like sure. some big company like uh, Chain Analysis, they started to do that. Uh, I don't know five years ago. That's even early, and they but they are working more in the scope of complying. So they've got right. to collect all this uh, project because for institutional player, a very dangerous thing is that you somehow touch the land of the you know right land. Right. That's great. Yeah. Or, or, you know, or you know, Russian nowadays. Uh, because that's this very U.S. Yep. Uh, central and uh, uh, compliance thing. So yep. actually, a lot of AML addresses uh, it's a, it's a focusing on. Mm. But we are a little bit different because we are more focusing on user security. So a lot mm. of users, okay. that is not their first priority. Their first priority is just mm. to make sure they don't lose their asset, don't transfer or do in any interaction with some uh, scam address. Because Got when it. you're doing that, it probably means you already been you know, packed there. So, right. Yeah. That's, that's a good a, point. A, yeah. That's a good point. Institutionals, because I run, uh, as a reminder, yeah, I run a, a, a fund. I used to run a hedge fund. Um, right. and so that's kind of why we interact with MetaMax institutional. That's you're right. It was AML KYC yes. functions. And so yes. it prevents, it's a different type of prevention, right? It's not the yes. stuff that will yes. obviously it adds the stuff that will steal your assets, but it's also known, um, non-friendly countries or uh, non-kosher <laughs> countries, right? Yeah. Um, address associated with that. Interesting. And then where do you, like, and then I also see the token security, like of the, of the, because there's a few detection tools, right? Token security, API, malicious address, NFT security. What, yep. what seems to have like the largest traction these days? Um, well, it's, it's actually kind of saying was keep changing. Because it's, it's also, um, because, because I, I put it into this way, because the whole thing for the defending on security is like a war between mm. attacker and the defender. 
Right. So um, to, to, to let you know that our uh, database for detecting token, like a year ago, um, mm. or like uh, in the beginning when we published our API, we have like uh, 20,000 token detected. And right, right now, guess how, how, how many we have? 2.6 million. Yes, I saw that. Yes. yes. Okay. And uh, uh, most of them is actually kind of, you can understand that was proposed by some user because some wallet or data website, they integrated our API, then they mm. have the interaction. They even search on that or even they have a label on each of the token detail. Then mm. once the user start to search on that, start to curious, hey, what does that mean? Safe or not? I want to check on that. It's like a trigger our API. So it's trigger our API, it's trigger our security engine, and we start to work on that, and we start to give them the result. And in the very beginning, actually a lot of the uh, scam, I mean, even now, the, the, the scam mechanism is not to say super sophisticated compared mm. with that. But for user thing, it's actually most of them is not super sophisticated. It's rather mm. simple, but you just don't know. You just get fooled right. in the way with, they take advantage on you. Right. And uh, it's, a, it's a lot of honeypot. And what is Honeypot? Mm. Simple. It's like someone, some token you can buy, but you couldn't sell. Right. That's a scam. You know, right? Mm. You, you get into something, it seems mm. like, oh, I get something. Or some, it's like an airdrop. Because right. a, lot of it's, a lot of the scam is like the, com, com, uh, it's like a package of mm. different packages together. Mm. And also, they probably had a lot of uh, malicious function in, okay. their, in their smart contract. Like, the, 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 the most the most uh, simple thing to understand is if this is open source or not. Okay. Because if it's open source, then we are able to detect it a lot, and we will be able to figure out what is the problem. But if it's not open source, it's actually a high risk itself, because you don't know what they're doing. Interesting. And, uh, and then the second thing is, uh, like, uh, they, they have, like, in our, like, category of labeling, there are main three they picked category. One is like on smart contract. If it's open source, you have some very weird function like self-destruct or some hidden owner or right. some external call. And they're also about trading because token, I mean, what's the purpose for token? A lot of them just for trading. So right. Honeypot is like a, a red line for everything because mm -hmm. once it's a Honeypot, there's nothing to explain. But there is actually a lot of function which is kind of in between mm. safe and purely risky because this is function like a, Hey, I can modify on the transaction task each right. time right. for my user. But so this time is you know it's like zero point one, but Got next it. time in a couple of days they can switch that into ninety nine percentage. Got it. Then Got they mark you. Got it. <laughs> right, right, right. Got it. it. Yes, that was. Uh, I remember that was. That wasn't a lot, but I remember there was when I, at least I was helping out with one of the early projects on BSC, something called Bake. Yeah. Um, but anyway, but there, yeah, yeah. There, 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 but I was. Yeah, there were a few, there are a few other projects, but yes, that's what they would do. So there's basically largely two categories of, of scams. One is the honeypot, and just yep. to summarize, so honeypot basically you can get airdrop tokens or you can buy tokens, but you can't sell. So that's yeah. that's one, and that that's like checking, I guess, the liquidity whether there are exchanges and and stuff that allow liquidity. And you said and the second the one, and and then the smart contract, yeah, and the smart they, contract, they were totally set like that, yeah. Got it. And, it. and the smart contract, then that gets a little bit more technical because I guess then you have to kind of see what functions can yeah. be changed and manipulated and whether those functions really matter, right? It could be yeah. changing the color of, 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 of the monkey. Well, that's fine, right? Sure. <laughs> but not changing the quantity, that is a risk. Yeah. Yes, yes. And that's what we are working on <laughs> to tell the user, like, what's the mechanism behind. Right. Got it. And that drives, like, Probably in between the two, like is one bigger than the other? The honeypot is bigger than the smart contract. Uh, no, no, it's, it's not like uh, uh, honeypot or smart contract because I, I, I uh, it, or you can say like that. One is about the trading mechanism. It's like honeypot or a relevant problem. Like some function, they can transfer this token to be honeypot. And uh, they, they are also, it, it's, it's like continuous work because they're also changing their mechanism. Right mm. now, some very smart scammer, they will, what they do, they will publish some uh, new token. They will test us. They will right. test if we can test it out. Then they will release a new function. Like, uh, for example, I told you, like someone can change tax on the smart right. contract. But they're probably doing something new. Like, they are not changing the whole mechanism of changing the whole tax rate. 
but they can right. change the tax rate on specific address. Right. That's what look, look like a little bit different on smart contract. But the, actually, if they can change everyone's tax, they, it's the same same way. Mm. But they just do that in the same in the same way because they think like, hey, this is like I have another way. I mean, to try if you can did it or not. And um, but this is all like related with uh, with with Honeyball. But another big function is actually, you can say it's it's not like a Honeyball is, but but the purpose is it's the same. But they okay. probably have even more weird function like a self destruct. Self destruct oh. is like this token is just a disappear. Got it. Okay. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got all it. Your, all your money is disappear. They just move all the liquidity before they do the self trust. Then they they move you all your money away. But got that's all something different. Yeah. Right. Interesting. Okay. So there's basically <laughs> it's it's a lot of it's playing a lot of defense. Yeah. You make exactly. me think of uh, what's his name that did the McAfee. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not as crazy, but that's um, a crazy panic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <not> like him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, 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 therefore, then, then I think your solutions would like, yeah, you work with basically, yeah, MetaMask uh, wallets, right? So that because for user. I don't really want to care about all the technical details. I want to know whether it's just a good or bad thing, right? I don't know if I don't need to know if it's a honey pun. I don't need to know if like I need to know maybe smart, smart contract risk. Yeah. But even like just simply, maybe just I want to see if it's green, yellow, or red, right? Like if it's yeah. bad, it's red, yeah. right? Sure. So you integrate integrate with wallets. That's true. That's really basic. That's that's where yeah. you guys, yeah. your clients are. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Got it. But that's um, just a, yeah. you, you're you're actually you made a very good point. I mean, in the end day, for the user, they wouldn't care that much about what is a mechanism, what is a complicated, uh, you know, technique name, everything. I don't I don't really care about that. I don't really want to know. Right. But the, the 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 best situation is right now in blockchain, in native blockchain, you probably have twenty percent of your chance getting mm. scammed mm. once you get into mm. there. Mm. So. There's another layer, so you can understand. Go Plus is doing two things. One is providing all the data. This is something we're focusing on, and this is also we have the boundary on that. Mm. But actually, we do one more thing. Is actually we also open the open system. Uh, sorry, open ecosystem. Right. Especially this time in East Denver, we coming there. We've yes. been the sponsor. We also publish a lot of bounty, and we also kind of say, hey, we have the ecosystem to welcome all the security builder. Which ah, you can use our data and cool. build end-to-end -end solution cool. to protect the user. For example, they can use our data, but to do something like uh, on-chain monitoring or asset yeah. tracking, or pre-detection, but with linkage with RPC, so yeah. they can make something like a firewall, let cool. the user subscribe. Then right. they can help a user to stop if the user allow them to do that. They can right. stop some malicious transaction. Right. before they doing something dangerous. So that actually a lot of space there, which mm. is uh, targeted to really innovative and creative builder to using our, utilizing our data to do that. And we are happy to see actually, in the last 12 months, there is mm. a small trend of the small this industry. Like in Denver, we met uh, maybe 10 plus project working Got on it. that. And Got our it. bounty, we attracted like a 30 developer into our group, mm -hmm. and eight of them submit their project, and we gave six of them our bounty. So nice. that is something we couldn't imagine a year ago. But just right. this year, you see, user security, it's really become something. I mean, well, it's it's it's. Um, I was gonna say, I mean, it it's it's probably because right now it's cleanup time. The SEC decided to, it's it's cleanup. And, and and went after a bunch of people. So I think right now is probably, yeah, cleanup time, right? Um, um, maybe we won't go there, but I can kind of see why it's important because if we're going to onboard the next billion people, this, yes. again, right? Because people don't care if it's, you yes. know, if it's the technical details, they want to know red, yellow, green, something yeah. simple as that, right? Um, yeah. And we need to make it as simple as that. Protect themselves. Yeah. Right. Have you thought about chat GPT and how it applies? <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I thought you probably asked something related to that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, I, I just really thought about it. I was like, yeah, maybe, yeah like, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I can give you two examples. One okay. kind of a good one, one kind of the, 
I don't know, like uh, the, the risky one. Like uh, I mentioned, East Denver, we gave some bounty. Right. The youngest right. winner is a 12 years old child. Okay. Utilizing yeah. ChatGPT and with oh, really? our open guy. And the, he made a vote in Discord. So answer all the user questions. When they ask, want to ask, hey, I want to know if this NFT is safe or not, or this token okay. is safe or not. Okay. And he can give this a result automatically. And so not, like, not, not innovative, but user, user friendly. User friendly. Yes. yes. Very user friendly. Right. And uh, we are also using part of that in like a trial version of our detecting machine. But right. honestly, you can, you can kind of use it in some way, but it's still like hard to say, like this is like the product level in, 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 in the way to use that because mm. um, it's, it's like different purpose. And also to do, to analysis on the, uh, on this, all the attack on the language uh, analysis is not enough. There's right. just one layer of that because we we do in static checking. We do also have a, a bunch of a machine learning mechanism to try different mechanism to tar okay. targeting on different uh, scope. So that is like a big combination of everything. But I can also tell you something. This is actually also user thing. For example, we have been noticed that after ChatGPT three released. Mm. So it's like end of last year, there's a dramatic increase in social attack on Web3 mm. relevant to, you know, social media like a Telegram, mostly mm. Telegram and Discord, because the ChatGPT, they are also lower the bar to do the social attack. How, like, so I remember, okay, let's go into that because I do remember the Telegram social attacks. Right, yeah. but I wasn't quite clear what was going. Like, how did it happen? I know, like, I know five other people that got it, but what? Yeah. I mean, what? It, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's it's like uh, how does it? It's, it's like a disease because somehow, I mean, you have like the first uh, like a victim, like he was uh, targeted, and his and uh, it's it's like like the servers you're like this. Once someone loses his contact, mm. the, the the cracker will start to utilize this account to talk sure. to these others. And how Makes they talk sense. with others? Because before, if you do social attack, the capability of these people is really important. Say, if you just have, I don't know, high school graduate diploma, and you're trying to talk with some really good technique funder there, it's kind of hard, you know? Uh, you don't know how to talk. But thanks uh, to ChatGPT, and you also have some history dialogue, so you can learn. Uh, no, <laughs> really? You think that's it? Yes, yes. What? Part of the reason. Part of the reason. What? But, but also think about it. this is not the one man's work. This yes. is actually, you can see this is some organization. So yes. there are some people kind of and learn how to talk. And then they will distribute that to this. Uh, you can see this is like the boat. That's fascinating. So like you see, this is a group work. Someone did Reason and someone doing that, like a man of work, because they, they, I mean, this is old thing, this is like a, in traditional scammer. I mean, telephones, the same thing, but sure, now, yeah, yeah, sure. You sex from ChatGPT, sorry oh. for that, but you get a food. So no, you okay, see. no, that makes sense. It makes it sound like it's it's somebody <laughs> you can you can tap into the old conversations, exactly, exactly. And I don't know if I say that is a good thing or not, like to public, you can search on something. Okay, I don't, I don't say the name, but you can search on something like some developers, most uh, like uh, frequently used software, and you can find a lot of the uh, case, like how to perform oh. things like that. Right, you know? right. So no, I, if yeah. that thing was used uh, in a bad way, it's really kind of a worse thing. For I know. Situation. I know. I I was interviewing a, 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 a VC that used ChatGPT, and he was using AI ChatGPT in a clever ways, right? So he was using a. I don't want to use the word AI. I mean, it's a big word, right? To use AI. I mean, you can use AI different ways. But he was using a, a ChatGPT to generate like memos, investment memos. He was also uh -huh. using ChatGPT to interact with founders. When founders would send an email, <laughs> ChatGPT would send a response back, like. Yeah. You know, it was clearly stated it's a bot, but this yeah. is the first response. And yeah. then he would yeah. add it and course correct if, if yeah. needed. Uh, yeah. But he yeah. also has a bot on Twitter where yeah. he also takes conversations and, and adds and makes like poems, right? So, so it was 100% capable. And, and I did not think the application would be on the spamming really. part, but 
that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, and it's it's, it's still how it's a. Uh, I mean, itself is having its limitation and vulnerability. But the, like we had also tried that. I mean, from time to time, I have started to use that for months, and I always like to talk to him to train to see how good he is. But I yeah. mean, the first okay. say three round of conversation, we're totally fine. The, the okay. problem will become a little bit deeper when you're talking something deeper. You will see, hey, this is fool. You know, this is uh, not something that's smart. But right. like the first several right. round is probably. It's totally okay, and it. but it's already created enough time for the scammer to attack him on you because the scenario is just that when they talk with you, they will ask you some question, yes. and they will ask you to say, "Hey, maybe can you do this a screenshot to me?" Right, and that is a very then, then dangerous. That, right, yeah, right. And once yeah. someone tell you doing that, they're ninety nine percent of the scam, right? <laughs> because right, then right. they will sending this, uh, you know, like. A, the 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 code to you at the same time. Yeah. When most of the people they have notify notify function open, so you see you see that message and just show directly onto your screen, and you just did you know doing the screen card and send to him and he got your code, and then the next minutes you lose your account. I see. It's a very I classic see. scenario. I see. Got it. I have not <laughs> been scammed yet. So, but knock on wood, you never know. Yeah. I, I try not. I try not to like talk to that many people on Telegram anymore, and 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 to be honest, like we used to. I used to clean my walls. I used to rotate my wallets, and you know, just kind of basic things. And I I don't ape in to all these projects. I think that's another thing, right? You, just, mm -hmm. you, you stop aping in. You know, you're you're just less subject to yeah. do it. The only reason why I asked you about ChatGPT is also they opened up their APIs, right? So yeah. so it's kind of the yeah. app store, and I start seeing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and I thought that was pretty clever, right? I mean, I could see that was going to be the next move, and so I was kind of thinking for Go Plus, it may be pretty interesting to to integrate with that, right? So yes, you've got the chat interface. Maybe it's limited to to what you know, but I guess the Discord bot is is some version of that as well. Yeah, yeah, I I, I can you give you a little bit for the comment on that, or I, I think I still have eight minutes for my next call, so so I will make a couple of points. So first, the AI thing or all the algorithm thing for our case or mm -hmm. for any say like uh, application case is uh, important, but uh, it's not the whole picture mm -hmm. because you can definitely train your model everything on some specific thing, but important thing is about the data you are having. Mm -hmm. This is uh, like uh, the fertilizer for your AI model, whatever it is. Sure. You know? Right. So. Once you have your AI model, but if you only use that in a very small scale or just as shooting on some specific case, it cannot guarantee you can deal with a bigger general question in a larger right. scale. That's right. something different. It's like something you do in the research in the university lab. I, I don't say university lab is not good or not, but it uh, might have some limitation. So the best way to train this is actually to train it in reality from mm. the very early stage. Mm -hmm. And second thing you mentioned uh, early, like uh, this is a user security is about onboard billions of users. And I definitely agree with you. And I think this might be the most important thing because only like uh, there will be safer environment, then there will be possibility to have more people because right now, even the Web3 security, user security is so crap. But mm. We're still here. There's still a lot of user using here, because why? I mean, this people is kind of high risk taker. Hmm. Right. They're kind right. of higher need. I mean, they're the doing something. The Exactly. They are learning MEV. They are learning a lot of crappy things, which you will never use in your life long term as ordinary hmm. people. You don't live hmm. with that. But you know, this is like a pioneer either for some. Uh, I, I don't know, ideology in their man to make a create a better world for Web3 or just for speculation, make money, mm. make it simple, okay? That's, that's say it's straightforward. Mm. But if you say, if we want a billion users, which means you have to a hundred times to grow, then the user will be totally different. Right. I don't think right. that will be more people will yes. be tolerant on something you have 20% of chance, at least 20% yes. of chance to get a scam. This is crazy. Yes. This is crazy. Like a lot of my ordinary people, <laughs> my ordinary right. friends, not going to those and say, hey, I will never talk to that thing. Don't say that to me. I know you're doing security. Do your job. Okay. Before you make a good, make a good right. environment, we will never think about it. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I agree. I was, um, 
someone was yeah i had another conversation with somebody about it and and it's yeah that user interface is 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 key we were talking about i think in, in terms of yeah the next billion people you're right not everyone because the not everyone will have the same risk tolerance yeah. we have totally different people more diverse people at the same time yeah um and I'm just kind of just trying to think, imagine that pathway, right, to the next billion people. So we talked about this in, in the chat. I, I do think, you know, the users are going to come from, you know, Africa, African continent, Latin America, Southeast Asia. Um, you know, that's already, I did the calculation, that's already like five to four to five billion people. Um, and, and I mean, and I guess part of it, I think U.S. innovation, you know, maybe I will talk about kind of macro and geopolitics to some degree, As, you know, that will have to be cleaned up. But I don't think that's a bad thing either, right? Because then it becomes regulated, right? Certain parts will be regulated, but that's also not a bad thing because if you want something to be legitimate, you kind of want to, like, you, you need some regulation, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Right? If you want a billion, right? If you want two billion, whatever, right? Because of the fact that not everyone's going to be a risk taker, yeah, most yeah. of them mom and pop. Right. Yeah, and and I think my response to to your comment on that, I mean, definitely there will involve a lot of geopolitics and uh, you know things, and and also I think very importantly because why we have Web three, I mean, on the earth, I mean, why we talk about all these things. Hmm. Is uh, I think the most important thing is to have something with a different possibility, hmm. with more right. possibility. Right. Then, now, have, you, have you watched the, the Tesla buyer between the U.S. Congress and the TikTok CEO? I did, I did, I did. <laughs> what do you do think? A, I, I, let well, me. I can talk. I can talk first. I can talk first. Um, <laughs> I, I will. I will state my opinion. I think he's a. Very, I, I thought his responses were good. But there's nothing he can do. Nothing yeah. he can do. There's yeah. nothing he can do, right? Yeah. I saw the Zuckerberg ones too, and I was just like, "There's nothing even Zuckerberg could do, right?" It's just, it's a losing battle, right? That's my opinion. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true, and 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 I think the whole thing. I mean, in the end, it's it's maybe a little bit the big concept, but it's it's probably a possibility to change many things, many existing concept or existing institution framework mm. we are having now because mm. I'm, I'm not focusing on the on the answer actually mm. <laughs> like like in the dialogue we had you remember the dialogue we had in google i asked the google question i mean why you're in oh why story? you yes right right, right. <laughs> yeah. yes so oh, that was I, very I courageous of you <laughs> <laughs> well i mean because i i i, I talked that day i mean i mentioned that day. i think the most important thing is actually not to answer because we probably will not to our own limitation. Hmm. On, we don't have our limitation. If we don't have our, our limitation, that's probably the end of the world. Hmm. <laughs> There's nothing you can expect it on. But I think the right thing is asking the right question. Hmm. But I'm literally the kind of the being, you know, like, a, <laughs> I, I find it's a, I mean, quite interesting to to listen to all the questions from all these congressmen is also right. a big thing. I mean, right. are they asking the right question? I mean, whatever is for global people or just for US citizens, is that really the most important question? Is that a key question they're asking? I see what you're asking, you're, what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, that's a good point. I did not pay attention to the questions as much, yeah. but I will go back and, and listen to the questions. Yeah, um, yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine the questions are very U.S. centric. I can imagine the questions are very, yeah. Th that's basically it, right? U.S. centric because I think they were asking, you know, where's the data? Is it is it on U.S. soil? Are you controlled? Et cetera, et cetera. Right. Yeah. Right. That, that that part actually, I think, is a it's a nature because it's right. U.S. Congress. Of course, it's U.S. centric. Yes. That is like a nature thing, but but also, I mean, my concern is actually. I mean, they are congressmen, and they probably prepare for that professional. Mm -hmm. But I didn't expect it like the the, the question, the, or you say the quality of the question from many point of view, from any point of view, or from 
as an ordinary people's point of view, at our stage, you know, mm -hmm. because tech, thing, tech talk is nothing about Web3, but this is also, you know, like it's a tech company. But mm -hmm. the question and the answer is a little bit uh, kind of unmatched there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's drawn my attention. It's like, uh, hey, is that going to be the right uh, compliant way or is that something going to be continued or I don't know, there may be some other better ways to improving at that part too, because Web3 is, uh, is something totally different. It's not TikTok, because what we are trying to do is to preventing something like TikTok, you know? Mm. But it's not only about TikTok. It's not mm. like a US-China geography, I mean, geopolitical uh, battle. It's, it's more like a, for the next generation of a human, I mean, mm. what is the possibility you to the how? Mm. Whatever is called a or Facebook or TikTok or some, you know, government taking all the data from you, or you have the possibility to maintain on your own, to own, to working on the way should be a better model. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. <laughs> I'm going, not going to <laughs> go deeper in that side too. Th those are good questions. I, 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 you know, it kind of made me think, do I have an answer? I, I my, so, so my two cents is I was in Bangkok at a, a chat with, um, of a few chats, right? One is a chat with a former treasury member. Um, and then there was a, there was another group. There's a couple of live streams that I do with people that are a little bit more, I think closer to the SEC. And unfortunately it is a, yeah. it is a political, um, situation at this moment. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and and part of it is karma. I w I w the only thing I would kind of call it is karma because I think there was uh, too much lost with um, FTX, right? So it was um, in the U.S. It's just very common to have retail protection, right? Protect protecting the mom and and pop. Now, so in theory, right? Of of course, yeah. um, you know how that is applied is 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 is. You know, maybe different, um, but in theory, it's about protecting the mom and, and 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 mom and pop. And I think someone kind of quoted and said like two million people were affected with um, FTX, right? So, so I can understand why they're cleaning up, and I can understand that this is a, a normal thing. Um, and I think this is just something that will have to happen for probably the next year um, until it comes back. So the way I think about it, it's actually seasons, right? It's you know, we had the DeFi summer. We had NFTs. Clearly, it was too hot. Clearly, it was it was too much. It was marketing. It was securities yeah. that were not. They didn't call them securities, but clearly they were securities. Clean yeah. up needs now to happen. Now it's autumn to winter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now it's autumn it's winter, summer. right? And 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 every season has its charm. Every season has its charm, right? So when yeah. the Swedes have a say, sure. there's sure. never there's never there's never ba uh, bad weather. Right? Uh, what was it? Uh, it's just bad clothes or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Something like that. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's never, never, never cold weather. Just uh, not enough clothes or something. Right? So, yeah. I mean, every season has its charm. Right? And on and in winter, we just have to embrace it. This is a good thing. And then, and then spring and summer will come back. Right? So, yeah. yeah. Um, that's yeah. the way I, I think about it because clearly it was too much, and it was clearly. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was not thinking this through. And I don't, to be honest, and I, I'll go out on a limb. I don't think they necessarily were bad actors because I, I've been a, I am, I've been a founder, right? Mm -hmm. And I understand a founder founders. I understand you, sometimes you're caught up in something that is very hard to come back, right? And it's, you, you try to make the best decision at that point. And I think what they did was bad. The net effect of it was bad, but I don't think the intention, the intention, because I also know some of their, their investors as well. I don't think the intention was bad, um, but it, people have lost hundred percent and that's bad. Um, but, but I think they were well-intentioned to a certain degree. For example, Do Kwan, um, when he was yeah. defending the peg, we right after that, I did a talk. I didn't. I wish it was recorded, but I I talked to bankers that had lived mm -hmm. through um, a currency devaluation, and we were. This is something I like to do. I like to look at the history of things, right? We talked in Google the history yeah, of technology. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was looking nice. at the, yeah the history yeah. of uh, currency devaluations, like um, Korean won, yeah. rupee, Bank of England. You always have to defend the pig. You always have to do your best. There's nothing you can do. 
Um, you have to sell the entire thing, right? And until you until you stop, and you just I'm not going to defend it. So on that particular action, nothing he could have done, right? Um, some people, you know, fault him for that. Yeah, you can fault him for maybe marketing differently in the beginning, marketing it wrongly in the beginning, saying it's stable coin, whatever it may be. But on that particular action, nothing else you could have done. Anyway, on that note, maybe good to stop. Thank you for your time. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, my, my last thing for, for that is first, uh, FTX itself is not a voluntary company. It's just central exchange, nothing more than that. And uh, another thing is about the autumn to winter, even this autumn to winter, but it's mostly on the secondary market. But for us, we are just a builder for Web3. So we're more focusing on the, how to say, project and the builder and developer level. Actually, I didn't feel this is a winter or autumn oh, really? in that, for example. There's a lot right. of developer, a lot of builder, and more than ever coming and the building up different things. And uh, and they all have a strong incentive and a have a clear goal in front of the things. And the things will be coming up and down, but we do see there's more beauty. At least from this level, there are more people right. coming. That's fantastic. And that's my always thesis is always follow the smart people. And the Swedish saying is, how's your Swedish? Lita. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my, there's, there's no bad weather, only bad clothes. Yeah. Yeah. That is the like, same. And they have a lagoon, you know? Yeah. They have a lagoon. It's not too bad, not too worse. Keep oh, the okay. balance. Keep going. Yeah, that's all you can do. <laughs> it's a lot of... Yeah, we should do right, that in front of Swedish Jolly. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Cool. See you later. Good chat. Thank and, you for uh, inviting me, Tak. Always. Not say. at all. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs>